You think you're being nice, but you're not. You're being a jerk. All right, what's up everybody? It's the K-Man. Look, I didn't want to make this video today, but I love my fellow man and woman too much, and y'all forced my hand, so here we are. Today's video is about driving when you have a one-lane bridge with a yield sign on both sides and traffic. Now, if you come to this bridge and there's no traffic, eh, the first guy goes and you wait and then you go, no big deal, okay? The problem happens when there's traffic and everybody does it wrong, and I'm gonna show you why. Here is the wrong way to do it that everyone does. Everyone does it the wrong way, and they get super mad at you if you don't comply, if you try to do it a better way. I'm gonna show y'all. The bad way is going one by one, but this is what everybody does. So this guy goes, and everybody sits, and now this guy goes, and now this guy goes. Okay, why is that the bad way? Because that seems like that would be the polite way. And that's what everyone thinks. Oh, you go. Okay, now you go. Now you go. We go one at a time. That's polite, that's fair, everybody's happy. Let's see why, scientifically, that doesn't make any sense. Let's assume that for a car to go from a stop position, starting up slowly, driving across the bridge, and clearing the bridge, let's say for one car that takes 10 seconds. What we're gonna document here is how long everyone has to wait when you do it this one by one way. First guy, okay, car number one, he has to wait zero seconds because he gets to go first, off he goes. This guy had to wait the 10 seconds before it's his turn. So 10 seconds for car number one on this side, Car number two, he had to wait for the first guy to go. Now he had to wait for this guy to go. So he's had to wait 20 seconds and then off he goes. And what you're gonna see is it's gonna add 10 seconds. So car number two here, he had to wait 30 seconds. Car number four, no, car number six, he's dead, but he had to wait 40 seconds, 50 seconds. Keep going, 60, 70 seconds, 80 seconds, 90 seconds. That's a minute and a half, 100 seconds. 110 seconds. Now, you might say 110 seconds, just shy of two minutes. That's not very long, but I only have room for six cars on this scenario. And let me get the guy that's deceased from here. Rest in peace, red car. <laughs> what if there's 20 cars? Because this only gets worse and worse the more cars you have. Some cars get through pretty quickly. Some cars are waiting two minutes. And imagine if you had 20 cars on each side, which sometimes on these one lane bridges near me, we get in rush hour. It's <clears throat> And I sit there and I watch the people go one at a time, one at a time, and it's just like, this is the dumbest way to do this. This makes everyone get home later. You think you're being nice, but you're not. You're being a jerk. Stop it. And I'm gonna show you why. A better way would be for several cars, several, to go at once in the same direction. When you're the second and third car, Follow the first car across. This guy's, I'm telling you, the Karens in this car will get so mad at you. <laughs> I've been screamed at, screamed at, flipped off by this person because I did this. Now, am I just being a jerk? Not waiting my turn? Like I can't wait my turn like everybody else has it? No, if all of these cars start up and travel in a line, you don't have that delay of one car starting up getting across and now this guy has to start, they all move together. Let's assume that it takes now, because there's two more cars, it takes 15 seconds for this group to get across. Let's redo our wait times and it's better. Car one, he didn't have to wait. Car two, no wait. Car three, no wait, they're all going together. Now these guys, car one had to wait 15 seconds. That's longer than 10 seconds. So maybe I'm wrong, but guess what? When these three go, they're all gonna go together too, right? And so car number two and number three had to each only wait 15 seconds till it's their turn to go. Already 50 seconds versus 15 seconds. Let's go back, now these three have gone. Now it's these three turn. These three are gonna go and they're gonna cross. It's gonna take, let's say 15 seconds. So they had to wait the first 15 seconds. They had to wait for three cars to go this way. That's 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And now likewise, these guys had to wait for the first one, the second one, the third one, and then it's their turn to go. And so each of them, 45 seconds. See how this is working out? Compare these numbers up here. 45 seconds is a lot better than 110. But freaking Karens will scream at you. Well, let me show you there's even a better way than that. The best way, and the Karens will scream at you. 
Here it is, ready for this? All the cars go, all of them, on one side, just everybody go. Look, watch, we all follow each other. And all like, get it, get out of your car. So, what happens when all the cars on this side go? How long do they all have to wait before it's their turn to start moving? Bunch of zeros. Let's not be naive, it's gonna take a little bit longer for more cars to go across the bridge. So let's say it takes 20 seconds. Because again, they're all moving together, they're all Okay, so now all these cars are gone. These guys had to wait 20 seconds. Again, this Karen in the front is gonna be ticked because the one by one way would have meant, except you don't get to the, you wait your turn to get to the, anyway, all these people, 20 seconds, and now they all go. 110 seconds, 20 seconds, okay? One by one is the slowest and dumbest way to get through the friggin' bridge. And everybody does it, and they yell at you if you don't, and this is why, science, you shouldn't do that. I'm just trying to help y'all. That's all, I just love you too much to make you wait when you don't need to. And you know what? Here's how I know I'm right. Because maybe you wanna, you wanna comment below, question my math, what are my assumptions that are wrong? Tell me I'm a jerk, that's fine. Here's how I know I'm right. What happens when you come to a construction site where professional flagger people have a one lane zone that they gotta put traffic through? Do they go one at a time? No! They let a bunch of cars go one way, a bunch of cars go the other way, because that's a better way. <sighs> Thanks for watching.